Welcome back guys, it's Edward here from Lost So Serious Gamers. Today's video is on Zenith, created by Nikonator. Before starting this easter egg, I just want to mention that some areas that you need to access for the easter egg only become available by completing craftables and then completing their challenges. Doing all this will turn on the jump pads around the map. So to start this guide off, I'll show you the craftable locations and how to complete their challenges. Then we'll dolphin dive into the easter egg, all the steps that you must pick up items to craft something, you're only able to carry one part at a time, so bear that in mind for all those steps. Personal Teleporter You can build your own personal teleporter, and you need three parts to do this. The gem can be found upstairs in the house with Jug, just on the table here, over by the radio here, and just here on the bookshelf. The metal part can be found in the bunker, just over here on the floor on the left hand side, just here in the sink and behind you on the right just by the radio. The last part I found was a screwdriver. This can be upstairs in the building with speed cola, just here on the shelf, just over here on the shelf, and just here on the boxes. Now you have all three parts, place them on the table in the back room of the building with jug. You can build it here and now collect your teleporter to teleport around the map. And that's actually what you just need to do for the challenge. To activate the jump pad, you must teleport five times around the map. Flame resistant boots. The flame resistant boots also has three parts. The boots can be found on the barrel just in the spawn area, in the house just by crit revive on the chair here, and also behind this wall just by the nuke pickup on these barrels. The belt sort of thing can be found over by the power switch, just here on the barrel, just here on the ladder, down on the floor next to the grave. The cloth can be found over by the claymore hut, just here down the passageway, over here on the crate, and also down by stamina just next to the crate here. Now head over to the bench just outside the building with speed cola and build it here. To complete the challenge, you must stand in the lava for 140 seconds. A workout you should be on your third pair of shoes by the time you complete this. Mega Claymores You can't build a claymore straight away, as one part is on the roof where speed cola is, and the only way to get on here is by completing the boot challenge. But once you've done that, take the jump pad onto the roof, or even teleport up there, and grab the nails just off this table. The duct tape can be found in the main courtyard just on these boxes here, just on these crates here, and hidden over by the claymores just down here. The pink fluid can be found in the house with double tap, just upstairs here, just in the doorway here on the right hand side, and as you exit the building just over by stamina. For the claymore challenge you must kill 30 zombies with the mega claymores. You must purchase the normal claymores before you can pick these up. Perkaholic. Using the personal teleporter, Stand by this lamp where you can see a small X in the room of Jug. Use the teleporter and this will take you to a room that has a key on the ledge. Grab this and bring it to the room with double tap. Either use the teleport or the jump pad and get up into the attic. You can now open this safe here and get your free perkaholic. Pack a punch. There's three computers around the map that you must spend 500 points to finalise the pack protocol. One's on the roof by Deadshot. One's in the attic where the safe was for perkaholic. And the last one's over by the personal teleporter bench. Pap will now open and it's just over by stamina drop. Now for the main easter egg, but there's kind of two main easter eggs in this, as you can start two steps at any point, and then they seem to unlock other steps. So I'll start off with the picture easter egg. Step 1, you must find four pictures around the map, opposite them will be a marking on the wall, that's also similar to the marking on the picture. Shoot the picture until it lines up with the marking, one's in the building just in spawn, Two are in the building with Jug, one's just in the back room where the workbench is, and the other one's upstairs just by Jug. And the last one can be found in the building with Double Tap just upstairs. You'll notice one of the markings is scribbled out. Leave this picture until last, and then when shooting it you should hear an audio is triggered, this will indicate that it's done, and the gate over by the power switch will now open. Step 2. Step inside and stand by this orb and it will start a lockdown. If you don't feel ready for this step, Feel free to look at the main quest part 2 in the description as you can start that at any point and come back to this step. It only lasts a few minutes but it can be very tricky. Once it's complete a jingle will be triggered and multiple red lights will appear around the map. Step 3. This is a two part step that can be done in any order. Part 1. A red light has appeared in the lockdown area. Activate this then head over to the Pack-a-Punch area and activate the red light opposite here. Part 2. In and around the house with speed cola, there are four lights. You must shoot these in a set order until they all become green. If the order isn't correct, they will reset and you must try again. The order seems to change every game. One light's just on the ground floor here. Then as you go upstairs, one's just opposite on the staircase. 
Another one can be found here in the back corner of the room. And the final one's just outside the building looking at spawn. Now head into the bunker and activate the switch here. Main easter egg part 2. Step 1. With the mega claymores you now must kill zombies at 4 grave sites around the map. One's in the spawn area, one's over by the power switch, one's by stamina up, and one's just behind the hut that you got claymores from. Once killing a zombie on all of these, an FX will trigger. Once you've done them all, an audio sound will trigger as well. The next two steps can be completed at the same time, depending what's easier or more convenient. Step 2. There are three mud men that you must build in a set order around the map. They all have their own three individual parts. You must build the first one up on the roof with speed coder on. These are the locations I found for the parts for this. The next mud man you must build is over in the spawn area and these are the locations I found for this. And the last one is just down by Stamrock and here are the locations I found for this. I'm sure the locations will probably change per game but I didn't want to bore you by showing you any more locations. They will now become soul boxes but you must do them in the order that you built them. Step 3. Once the claymore step is done you must have these terrifying parasites shoot their ectoplasm at you whilst you're standing next to all the grave sites that you blew up. Doing this will change the colour of the flame to a green colour. Don't forget one's over in the spawn area, one's just behind the mega claymore building, one's just over by the power and one's just down by stamina. Now you've completed part 1 and 2 of the main easter egg, you can start with the final section. The final step. Head to the roof with Deadshot on it and slide jump down towards the generator over by the power and land just inside of the barrier. Doing this will cause the bars to drop down. Now stand next to us whilst you're on the dog round and let these parasites shoot their ectoplasm at you once again. This will damage the generator causing them to spawn in as electric parasites. This will also trigger yellow test tubes to appear out the ground all around the map. Now bring over the electrocuted parasite over towards the test tube and let it electrocute it. Once you've done all of them around the map, you can purchase the Bible ending just underneath this tree that you can shoot that has magical leaves that will give you extra points. The Bible ending is 50k. But hey, thankfully you didn't have to buy any perks. Hope you found this guide helpful for this great map. If you did, then I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. It really helps the channel out. This has been Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming. I hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever time of day is out there. Hope you have a great one and peace out. The fuck was that?